Anthropic just introduced a new feature which is in beta and it is called token counting. Token counting basically allows us to determine the number of tokens in a specific message before we send it to Claude and it can help us in creating better workflows, creating conditions and assessing costs. Um, this is kind of the bottom line. I will share with you in a moment the whole uh, article, the whole post, a few uh, examples of how you can use it and then uh, a few ideas and use cases and when it can be useful. So stick until the end if you find that interesting. So let's read through this briefly and make sure that we cover uh, all the bases. So token counting enables us to determine the number of tokens in a message before sending it to Claude. Why is this useful? First of all, proactively manage rate, uh, rate limits and cost. We, uh, if you're using an AI coding assistant, for example, Klein, you know that we very often encounter different rate limits. So this could be useful if we know the amount of tokens before we can possibly manage it differently. Make smart model routing decisions. So this is very valuable if you have real life workflows. We will cover that later and optimize prompts to a specific length. This is also related to the routing decisions. Okay, so the token counting endpoint accepts the same structured list of uh, inputs for creating a message, including support for system prompts, such as tools, images, and PDFs. These are the supported models. And this is basically how it looks like. You just need to add this to the response token counting under betas and this is, for, this is an example. The message is hello Claude and you get the input tokens, it's going to be 14. This is a different example. If you want to um, get the count of the tokens in a message with a tool. So as you can see here, you add this. This is the, the request and this is the amount of tokens, 403. This uh, another example in case you have images in your request and again you have the input tokens. This is another example, never mind, not so uh, crucial. They have different pricing and rate limits. So token counting is free, which is very valuable. It's very, uh, it's free to use, but subject to request per minute rate limits based on usage tier. If you don't know what is usage tier, basically you can come here to uh, this page and there are different tiers for users in Anthropic. And if you encounter many limits, uh, rate limits and maximum tokens per day limits, what you can do, you can just deposit a bigger amount of money in your uh, Anthropic balance. And if you deposit this amount of money, you will move to the next tier. Basically in the fourth tier, you have way, way more um, options in terms of, I mean, the rate limits are way higher also the tokens per day and also requests per minute. So this is something to be taken into account. If you want to um, remove limitations, check out the different rate limits. And here are like the prices. So you deposit 400 bucks and you basically have a very high limits and a lot of room for messing around with the different AI coding assistant or if you're using just Anthropic API. Anyway, so as we said, this is free. These are the rate limits. Now um, let's cover, it's going to be a short video by the way. Let's cover a few use cases. So first of all, token counting and token estimations are variable in several uh, practical scenarios when working with LLMs. Here are a few examples. Obviously I use Claude to assist me with this. So first of all, cost management helps predict API costs since most providers charge per token allows for budget planning and optimization, enables setting up proper usage limits uh, and alerts. This is especially relevant if you're building a, a project and it's uh, in production or if you're a big enterprise and you know, you're know you very cautious and you need to be really well planned. Performance optimization, so ensures prompts fit within model context window. This is also crucial. We will cover an example related later on help chunk uh, large documents efficiently. Technical implementation, so help implement proper text splitting is also related to this one. 
user experience not so crucial in my opinion error, error prevention obviously uh, you avoid hitting context length limit unexpectedly you prevent failed api calls due to oversized inputs and you enable gracefully fallback handling so here are a few examples so let's assume that you have a writing assistant so the scenario is a user wants to paste their 30 page uh, novel for editing the tokens matter because without counting you might try sending the whole novel at once and get an error and the solution you count the tokens first then you split into chunks like chapter one chapter two etc let's say you have a customer support chatbot so the scenario is loading customer chat history with an agent why the tokens matter you need to know how much history can fit within context and the solution is count tokens to include the most recent relevant messages without overflowing let's say you have a q a you want to you have a document which you are using as rag for example and you want to uh, upload it and use it as rag so you can send the entire pdf at once since 100 pages is more than the context window so you count the tokens to split the document into searchable chunks before and you only send the relevant parts translation services meeting summarizer etc now this is an example of a simple workflow in which you just add a, a, a condition so i propose this can we add this to our workflow and add a condition that if the result of the token count is x we do y otherwise we do z so basically the pseudo algorithm is the workflow implementation is it takes a, a text input and counts tokens uh, then it has two processing paths if the tokens is smaller than the limit so the you process the text input as a single chunk and if the tokens is uh, bigger than the context window or the limit you split into multiple chunks pretty straightforward so example use cases document processing automatically split large documents chat history process conversation history in appropriate chunks content generation so handle varying input lengths properly etc so um this is more of an advanced thing and it's more for people who are using it in production level or are really um want to be very calculated in terms of of the cost um, i think it is very useful but it's more for advanced use case in my opinion unless any one of you has a different idea please obviously um, suggest your comments and feedback in the comment section i guess that's it for today just a short and small update about this new uh, ability if you enjoyed this video obviously like and subscribe and until next time keep on automating